Hey y'all, I just want to come and show y'all the outcome of these sweet potato pies. Natalie likes hers with pecans. I went on and did two. The bake time was about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. Mm -mm. And they're hot, so I cannot cut, cut them. And um, y'all know we had a bad storm come up. So I had to go ahead and take everything, clean it up, get the kitchen back together, honey. Uh, not to mop the floors. Honey, I don't play about my kitchen. Andre, that storm came. I lost power. So, here it is. Again, it took me about 45 to 50 minutes to cook these. If you want them darker than this, then you can leave them in. I don't like mine dry. Uh, it's done. You see me pressing on it. This is my pie, so please don't come for me. And these got the small pecans on it. I did a crust on it. I did a cinnamon a pecan. Normally, I use big pecans, but I didn't um, have them. And Natalie loves it that way, okay? I'm sorry for the... Um, Turn it around. I apologize. We had a bad storm and I had to stop. Well, I didn't even stop it. Knocked me off. I lost power and I lost um, internet. But here's the outcome of them. Again, I want to run through the ingredients real quick. So I only used two tablespoons of flour, okay? And I used two eggs. I used a whole cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. I used half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of um, nutmeg. And I used three teaspoons of um, vanilla flavoring, half a stick of butter, okay? And I would have zested an orange. I didn't put the lemon juice in this one because I didn't have my orange, Okay, but it's still good. And then I top this off with brown sugar and cinnamon and pecans. Get in there. Look at that. Natalie loves hers like this. She just goes in. Okay, y'all got it? Don't those look good? Get in there. Look at that pie. Y'all can't tell me that pie don't look good. Well, you can. Again, I apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, I was going to do a little more cooking for y'all, but I guess the Lord said that's enough cooking for today. So, I love y'all. I had to put the liver back up mm -hmm. and the onions. Yeah, I'll make the biscuits tomorrow. I've been craving liver and onions, so I just shook everything and put it in a bag and put it in the refrigerator and it is sealed. So after I do my bags tomorrow, uh, maybe sometime tomorrow, I plan on cooking me some liver onions gravy, mm -hmm. biscuits and rice. That's what I've been craving. Did everybody see the pies before I get off of here? Listen, someone on here said that they had COVID-19. There's also a lady in our top town. She was diagnosed with the Delta variant. Y'all, we got to be careful out here. Please be careful. And keep those that are going through in prayer, okay? On this particular sweet potato pies, I fried some of them, but I used eight potatoes. I'm sorry I didn't give that number. Oh, and I used a third a cup of... Um, Look, look who finna take theirs. Go on and start wrapping it up, Natalie. And I used a third a cup of carnation milk. Let me go through the ingredients one more time. Eight potatoes. A third a cup of carnation milk. Two eggs. Make sure you bust your eggs separate and beat them up. Natalie, you ain't taking my pan. Mm -hmm. Natalie, that's my grandma. I'll bring it back. I'll put it in the car. I didn't raise the glass of back though. I can't finish. Exactly, and I don't want you to keep that because that's what I, I put my whole cake in. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, put, I'll leave it in the bar. 
It's still hot, baby girl. You can get it. You could always take a towel. I'd rather you would have took a towel out the house. Why do you think of that? I'm in the hallway. I know it don't look good. Okay, here we go again. Eight eggs, a third a cup of, con uh, of carnation milk. If you feel like you need more, that's fine. I use eight medium, I'm say I say eight, eight medium potatoes. I'm sorry. Two eggs, two tablespoons of flour, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, three teaspoons, which you really could just go for a table if you want to, of vanilla flavoring. I use one cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and um, half a stick of butter. And that was it. Uh, I would have zested an orange in there. And you can use orange uh, extract if you want to. But I always was taught by older people just zest a little orange and add a tad of lemon. But that's optional. You don't have to. You still going to... I didn't overdo the, the vanilla and the sweet, I meant the cinnamon and the nutmeg because I knew Natalie's was going to have cinnamon and pecans on top. You still want to taste the flavor of the sweet potato. If you put too much sugar and too many spices, you won't taste the sweet potato. You'll just bite and taste cinnamon, bite and taste nutmeg. But for me, if it's a sweet potato pie, I want to taste the sweet potato in the pie. Honey, Natalie done got hers, but I can show you. Does anybody need to see again? The temperature, I cooked it on a bump the temperature up to 375. I cooked them for 45 minutes to 50 minutes. I can't tell you about your oven. Um, I'm not writing the recipes in the comment. Everybody that follow me on a regular basis, I love you. Okay, have a good one. Be safe. I will, baby girl. Everybody that follow me on a regular basis know that right now I am doing book bags and fan giveaway. I'm trying. Oh, 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 please listen. Please share this video. Share, 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 share. I need y'all to keep my page circulating. I need you to go to um, uh, my Bible study page. I think I'm going to change the name to um, Talking with uh, Tracy K. Mitchell. Also, um, I need you to uh, go to YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and follow me. But listen, someone sent in a $250 donation today. Let me tell y'all what I'm going to do with that. I have selected a little girl that lives in the housing authority. And I'm going to take her shopping to buy her a couple of outfits for school. My goal is to take her tomorrow. I'll try to go live and let y'all see that I'm shopping. I can't say that I will show the mama and I can't say that I'll show the little girl. But I can tell you when I get to the store to do the shopping, um, it's going to be for someone I selected. Because of the blessing that came through the cash app today. I would love to get a little boy and do the same thing. It's expensive. Everything is expensive. And I love y'all for caring. Most of all, please share this page. But you have to understand that whether they getting money from the government or not, $250 for a, a single mama that's got four kids or like two of them are over the age of being able to get the money because you can't get it if your child is over 17, so they're 18, but yet they're still in school. It's not a lot of money when you've got to get shoes for all of them, when you got to get book bags. And we can't worry about what we think somebody may or may not have because then we're giving begrudgingly. I had to block some people for that. Their comments was rude. The next thing is that a lady said, well, you ought to be up helping your husband. I've been running all day long. That's personal. Everybody on here knows what's going on with my leg. So you come on not knowing who I am, giving your opinion about my husband. Don't mean nothing but got you blocked. So tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock my time, Eastern time, 
I'm going to be putting the book bags together along with my daughter, my sister-in-law, Johnny, um, Willa Dean out of Rome, Georgia, Willa Dean Harrell out of Rome, Georgia, and my sister, Erica. Erica knows. And whatever I run out of, I'll be back in the stores. I hope I can take the little girl shopping. School starts back here on Wednesday. And then next Saturday at 11 o'clock, we're going to start giving away the book bags and the fans. We're going to give them food. Look at God. Before the storm came, the slush truck came. They can do it for me. That's who I wanted. They normally don't come to the neighborhood to Saturday. And I was afraid I was going to miss them. But honey, they came through tonight. <laughs> Won't he do it? And they called back and said they would take it. So I told them I wanted to pay for a hundred slushes. They're just a dollar to two dollars a slush. But all those kids can come drink their little happy selves. I'm going to drink me some. Thank you, Fanny. Hey, Joyce Journey. Hey, Diane Whitehead. Hey, Vanessa Chambers. Chambers. How far I am from Blue Ridge? Um, I I am an hour and 15 minutes from Blue Ridge to hour and 30. But I already, Natalie went to Dalton. And they have a roses and Natalie brought them on her way down to clean my house. So she was my legs. Let me show y'all that pie one more time. Okay. Y'all, y'all hear that thunder? <laughs> Ooh, did it scare me? That's that pie. Yeah, they got crumbs on the stove. She know how I am. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. I love when you get them little crunchy tops like that. Oh, I like that. Thank you, Sandra Autumn. Autumn. So y'all have been sticking with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate those that could give and those that couldn't give. I don't judge nobody like this. Um, we're going to do our best to deal with these um, children as they start a full school year. Y'all pray that God cover and keep them. Uh, we don't know what lurks around the corner. I don't know who holds tomorrow. No, no, no. I said that wrong. <laughs> I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who's in tomorrow, and I know who holds my tomorrow and who holds my hand. I don't worry about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from its sunshine. What's clouds may turn. Too gray. I don't worry over the future, for I know what Jesus said, and today I walk behind him, for he knows what is ahead. Many things about tomorrow. I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds my tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. 
it. That's all I got. I ain't got a lot of wind in me because I'm tired and it's in my voice. But I love y'all. Yes, I do. I'm the cook and you're my friends. I'm the cook, y'all. The God has sent. I love y'all. Yes, I do. So enjoy your night with your family and enjoy your food that you have prepared to eat. Find your good movie. Relax. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Don't worry about nothing. Take you a moment in time to say everything is fine. Speak it. I ain't going to worry about a thing. Just claim it. Just say it. Just act as though there is absolutely positively nothing negative in this world. And that when I close my eyes and I go away, I can go wherever I want to. And this is for somebody that's struggling financially. You can only do what your money, your money say you can do, yeah. That's what your money said. But baby, we have hopes and dreams. Close your eyes. Use your imagination. When I was a little girl, they had the learning tree. Um, they took out all of that, TBS. But the after school specials, they would tell us to go and sit up under the thinking tree. Use your imagination. You want to go to Hawaii? Let your mind take you there. Yes. And then be grateful. Breathe in and breathe out. Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have clothes on your back? Do you have food on your table? Do you have shoes on your feet? Is somebody worse off than you? Yes, the struggle is real. But which one of us by worrying is going to add one year to our lives? Stop. Breathe. Get out the house. Go sit at the park. Let the windows down. Take your mask off. You're the only one in the car. L ride. Just ride. Put you some gas in your car and just ride. Turn around. Ride back home. Stop. Get your ice cream cone for 99 cents. The best things in life are free. Pack you a sandwich. Get you some chips, whatever you got in your house. And just enjoy your life. Stop worrying about other people's lives. Stop worrying about their money and their wallet. Stop wishing. I wish I had what she had. No, you don't because you don't know what she had to go through to get it. You don't know how many nights she can't sleep worrying about how she going to keep what she done got. You can sit and look at a house on the outside and, and, and it's got curb appeal. And I'm almost finished. It's got curb appeal. It's beautiful on the outside. I said on the outside. But if you push the door open, honey, you might think that you walked into the nightmare on Elm Street. Everything could be discombobulated in that house. You was just looking on the outside. So quit judging a book by the cover. People by their smile. Everybody just smiling ain't happy. Earth, wind, and fire said, ain't it funny how the way you feel shows on your face. And no matter how you try to hide it, it states the case. So it makes no difference. Everybody smiling ain't happy on the inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just a natural reaction. We can play off a lot of things. But one thing I can tell you is learn how to be content in the state you are in. Don't you look through nobody else's windows. Don't you let their curb appeal trick you about what's going on in their house. Yeah, they could have everything in the world so they think, but they may not have peace. They may not have happiness and they may not have joy. You got somebody to love you. Um, I used to love Teddy Pendergrass. I love Teddy. He said, it's so good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. That's the fact. It's so good, good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. Quit wasting your time on people that don't want to love you back. You have to appreciate the little things people do. Uh-huh. You got me so excited. Keep on lifting, lifting me higher. So good, so good. Needing somebody when somebody needs you back. So, you know, I take old songs. I don't worry about what nobody in the church say or nothing. 
because a song can minister to you if you let it. Yes, it can. You can look out and see a natural thing and get something or a ray of hope. I hope that blessed somebody. Quit worrying about what you can't change. I looked at it like this. However, whatever I was going to raise, I have been determined that I was going to do this. I was set steadfast on it. And you have to be the same way. You lift up your head, honey. And you do like Teddy Pendergrass said and said, it's so good, good. Mm. Loving somebody when somebody loves you back. That's a fact. It's so good, good. Needing somebody when somebody needs you back. So that's how I feel tonight. And so I thank God for my energy and my strength. I'm going to get on off of here because y'all got so many people y'all need to go watch. Y'all got so many people on here. I hope I help you with the sweet potato pie. I'm sorry that I lost power. I don't control whatever God says. But I thank God for wisdom and I needed to get somewhere probably and not cook as much. Yeah. So uh, may God's peace be with you till we meet again. All minds clear. The sweet potato pie is going to be in two videos and I'm going to post a picture because I lost power. So I came back to show the outcome of it. All right, y'all good. To be loved and be loved in return is the only thing that my heart desires. I appreciate all the little things you do. Oh, you're the one that's got me inspired. Keep on lifting, lifting me higher. So good. Loving somebody when somebody loves you back, that's a fact. So y'all be feeding me the words. It's so good, good. My cousin Janice Houston just gave me the other part of the words and I can sing it, honey. To be loved and be loved in return is the only thing that my heart desires. I appreciate all the little things you do. Oh, you're the one that's got me inspired. Keep on lifting, lifting me higher. So good. Loving somebody when somebody loves you back. That's a fact. It's so good, good. Needing somebody when somebody needs you back. So I'm done, y'all, because I'm getting excited. I, I mean, I went down... Memory, memory lane. Thank you, cousin Janice Houston. <laughs> it's so good to be loved and to be loved in return. That's the only thing that my heart desires. I love y'all. Yes, I do. I am the cook and you're my friend. I want us all to pray for broken fences, broken relationships within our family. Now, remember, I told you about family. Family is not just your blood. Some people that's your blood are just your relatives, okay? Let's get that right. Sometimes we create our family. There's no use in wasting your time when somebody don't want to love you back. It's good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. So let's mend broken fences with whoever chooses to love us back. Let's not waste our time on petty stuff. Let's not waste our time because tomorrow is not promised. Okay? If you have a broken fence, pick up the phone. Be the better person. I ain't going to do it. You better. You better. If your children don't call you, text them every day and say, I love you, this mama. That's all you need to say. Why do I say that? Because I have some young kids right now. Mama was fine. She started feeling funny. She, she's a bad diabetic. She got a UTI. Next thing you know, when she got to the hospital, she went septic. And they had to get her heart started back. And she was 20 minutes without oxygen. Now, from what I was told is her heart was still beating. But she had no brain activity. And they were going to pull the plug. I worry about those children. 
because they're grown. So the son is a senior. But you never, today is my daddy's birthday. I can't think about it. When my mama called, she said, I know you didn't write nothing today. It's only because I can't think about it. I miss him every day. I had an amazing father, a powerful deacon. There are things that are triggers in our lives. I don't go to the graveyard. He's not there. But up here and right here. So happy birthday, Daddy. He would answer the phone and say, Hey, girl. Hey, Daddy. Happy birthday. Hey, who this? Erica, Tracy, Renee. A girl, you know which one is you. That's when you have a lot of kids. Daddy, this Tracy. Hey, happy birthday. I don't see nothing there. Happy birthday. Where the money? <laughs> he will open up the card just like this. Read the card, Daddy. Okay. Woo! Girl, you know you didn't have to give me this much money. Well, and one of them say, well, Daddy, if you don't want to give it back, I wasn't talking to you. That's why I get it's personal. <laughs> that don't pertain to you. That's how my daddy did his birthday. Happy birthday, daddy. Here go. You can only go buy a dollar card. Don't go buy no five dollar card. Happy birthday. Daddy, how you reading the card? Something fall out. Woo! Look at that girl. So today, daddy, happy birthday. I give you, I give you a 100 grand. 100 grand today, daddy. <laughs> if my daddy was alive, I would be like Tabitha Brown. I couldn't wait to see him see me achieve all the things that I have achieved. I was never the kid that had to come and borrow a need. And I would have loved to buy my daddy a truck. Which he not own a lot of new trucks, y'all. I want a farm one day. We country. And I would love to see my daddy walk his two, three miles a day on the farm. And my mama sit on that porch with me. And she's still alive. But I never know what God going to do. And what doors he's going to open. But I'm going to leave you like color purple. I know my daddy love me. I got a daddy. And he with the father and they both love me and he don't want to come back here because he got a mansion and he having a good time and he up there with his mamas and his brothers and his sisters he I'm having a good time so, so with that being said I'm going to get off of here um, Ava hold on baby and I'm going to, um, I'm not going to cry. I already have cried. But it's okay. It's all right to still miss your parents. My daddy died in 2016 from cancer. I saw my daddy suffer a little bit. But he never complained. That's what I saw. And he said, I'm going to go when the get, good Lord get ready for me to go. And he was absolutely right. I witnessed it. I was there. They said he wouldn't talk no more, and he did. And so I thank God for my parents, the longevity of life that God gave them. I thank God that my mom is still alive and doing well. So it's my daddy's birthday, y'all. Mr. Calvin Nose is what they called him. His nickname was Goat. Now, his name wasn't the greatest of all times, not like that. We wasn't understanding the acronym. But my daddy grew a long beard, a goatee, and he used to have a cafe, and they nicknamed him Goat because he had such a long, like ZZ Top. Yeah, that's how my daddy had his. So I could go on and on. So Mr. Nose, happy birthday to you, sir. And I miss you. And if I had it, 
whatever I have. If I could bring him back, I want him back. But I know it's a better place. Everybody is going to be all right. Amen. Y'all go on. Y'all just want to see these big eyes cry. Hey, Chi-Town in the house, Joanne Moore. So, y'all, thank y'all. Thank y'all for the support and the love. Whew, and thank you all for donating toward the book bags and the fans. Next Saturday, y'all better set y'all clocks. I'm on um put uh I'm gonna set a, a live time so that I can make sure that when we get it started and those that can't get out, I'm gonna jump in and out the car and we're gonna start taking those senior citizens some fans. We're gonna get these kids in school. So I will, the Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. See y'all tomorrow. Um, we'll be putting together book bags and we will be uh taking a young girl shopping all right all right all minds clear <laughs> what do i want to say tonight what do i want to close with tonight i want to say this the mountaintops are glorious but it's in the valley that we grow. And if we never have a valley experience, we'll never appreciate the view mm -hmm. on the mountaintop. That's what I have to say for y'all tonight. I love y'all. Yes, I do. Good night.